Subterranean complex, sub level five. Is this the one? This is the one. Yep, I remember this one. Like I'm gonna try. So if I actually fall asleep, uh, no. Okay. Okay. No, I wanted the white Pikmin. Okay. The captains and the one white Pikmin are going ahead. Actually, I probably don't need the one white Pikmin. Just the captains are going ahead. We're going to trigger as many of these stupid bomb rock explosions as possible. Oh look! Volatile Dweevils! Everyone's favorite enemy. Um, Olimar? Olimar, you better not die on me. Like, you, you better not die on me. No, Olimar, get out of there. Like, this is ridiculous, right? You can't do- what? You cannot- Wow, Volatile Dweevil breaks the laws of physics just to blow me up. Can you imagine going through this while taking all of your Pikmin? Like, it's nuts. I literally titled the stream after this sub-level. I give this a D. D for disgusting! Yep. I agree. I'm also worried for Olmar. Olmar is pretty close to going extinct. I don't want Olmar going extinct. <laughs> All right. I think I've triggered most of the bombs. Again, I think there are more bombs for if you like bring your Pikmin along and start trying to carry the treasure away. Because that's just the kind of game this is. Uh, yep, oh look, there's one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Honestly, I think the scariest part of this dungeon is how easy it is to accidentally throw your Pikmin off a cliff. Especially since there are a lot of aerial enemies in this dungeon with all the bugs. Yes, so. If I throw the Pikmin there. Okay, maybe not. Stop! Maybe not. Is that actually an honest-to-goodness treasure that won't trigger any traps? That surprises me a little bit. They gave you all the white flowers because you need the mobility here? Yeah. Again, having a high amount of white Pikmin, especially on a casual playthrough, is not a bad idea. Because they are crazy fast. I think those are the only two treasures. I want to say those are the only two treasures. We'll find out. It hurts. <laughs> oh, 
Olimar's like, hey, I'm kind of mortally wounded. Can I... can I take a nap? No. No, you can't. Aw. Oh, that's okay, Sibsazaras. I'm sure you'll hear it again before long. Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh! I have an animal. It's a clock face. The mystical disc. I have a I have a clock with a face like that. I like the Roman numerals. And then yet another uh another nut. Seventy pokos. The adamant <laughs> the adamantite girdle. All right, let's get out of sub level five. Okay, that actually was not as bad as I thought it was. Those volatile dweevils scared me a couple times, but I didn't even have to reset, so I'm I'm surprised. I'm happy with that. This just makes me even more nervous for the boss, though. Subterranean complex sub level six. <laughs> boss is gonna be interesting. It is arguably the coolest boss in the game. Oh, hi! Why, yes, this is why I brought Yellow Pikmin. Just trying to be extra careful, because I don't want to throw Pikmin off a cliff. I also don't want Pikmin to get electrocuted. Both are easy to have happen accidentally. Electricity is by far the scariest hazard because that causes instant death. All right, nectar for later. I don't know why white flowers grow in rusted areas. Also, I just want to point out, there's a new enemy in this dungeon we haven't encountered yet, and it's possibly the nastiest enemy in the game. Oh hey, it's a fiery dweevil! Hello there, there, little guy. Um, did he just walk off a cliff? He... yep. I mean, you didn't have to do that. What kind of dweevil is that over there? Oh, that's another fiery dweevil. Okay. Fiery dweevils are not too bad. The anno dweevils are. Carry it back, carry it back, carry it back. Blech! Don't let him burn you, though. Wow, I'm kind of surprised Fiery Dweevil did not kill somebody there. <laughs> I wasn't going to hurt the guy if, if he didn't bother me, the repair juggernaut. The cathode dweevil. Yeah, there's the fiery dweevil, the anno dweevil, the cossack dweevil, the munge dweevil, and then the volatile dweevil. I hate that room! Okay, let's deal with... Let's deal with Troy Bombs first. Troy and McBombs. I hate how he's hovering over a cliff. Come on, murder him, murder him, murder him, murder him! Yeah! Good job! I don't like bomb-throwing bugs. Alright, this part is annoying because we got poison filters, but we also have those anode dweevils. So let's destroy the poison filters. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get out of the way because I can see that they're about to... 
use their electric electricity powers. Let's sp split up our Pikmin. Let's just take a small select group of elite white Pikmin to deal with the poison filters. No! Get away! I saw them blatantly running right towards the electricity. They are so stupid. Alright. There we go. Oh, hey, Munched Weevils! I can never remember if the purple ones are Munched Weevils or if the blue ones are Munched Weevils. I just realized I was right in the middle of a potential electric fence. That could have ended really, really badly. <laughs> if that beetle and the beetle over there decided to make an electric fence between the two of them, I would have been dead, and all of my pigmen would have been too. I think the worst is over with. Uh, for the music randomizers, can we... As, as I've said before, as long as the music you request will not get my stream muted, I'll play it. And, and as long as it's not like... Oh, it's like Beethoven's Symphony that's an hour long. It's like, yeah, I'm not playing that. But I don't care what video game franchise it's from. Oh, nope. Oh, wow, he didn't even get a chance to poison us. How embarrassing. Let's take our spoils back. Oh, nice. yeah. I highly recommend the Ocarina of Time randomizer. It's very fun. Space Wave Receiver, 80 Pocos. <laughs> also, Miss Hero, I would definitely be up for doing a multi world with you sometime. <laughs> or a co op randomizer if you can get it working. Definitely a lot of fun if you have multiple players. Ooh, Fee! The vacuum processor, Far Eastern Electric. It's different from the fees I have to pay every month. I mean, what? Alright. Everybody get the juice. Okay, everyone except... <laughs> everyone except Mr. Redleaf Pikmin can get the juice. Do, 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 do. I, lo I love how, like, every few fours, they just give you a geyser. They're like, hey... You want to leave? I think you want to leave. <laughs> I do want to leave, but I can't. I have to keep going. <laughs> like, the game is aware of how stupidly difficult it is at this point, so they're just like, we're going to give you every out possible. <laughs> Subterranean complex. Sub-level 7. And this dungeon's bigger than I thought. I think I don't think there are more than 9 sub-levels. But I believe this is the sub-level where we meet the new enemy. And oh boy, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this. <gasps> Why, everybody, I do believe it's Bitter O'Clock. Oh yes, I've been waiting for one of those. Alright. Oh, but this means now, because I got the bitter sprays, I gotta make sure I don't have to reset. Okay. <laughs> bitter o'clock? It's, it's a joke. It just meant it's time to get a bitter spray. Good lord. Look at all these bomb rocks. Here we go! This is the new enemy! This is a Gatling Groink. It's like a artillery goldfish. And it shoots explosive bl uh, blasts at you. And what's really annoying about this enemy is that it's random. Sometimes the explosive blasts will instantly destroy your Pikmin, and sometimes it'll just knock them down. Yikes. Uh, yep. 
I have been dreading meeting the Gatling Groink. Oh, and here's another one. Also, much like the Spotty Bull Bear, once you kill the Gatling Groinks, they will slowly recover their HP. If you don't bring them back to your onion before they get it all back, then, uh, goodbye. <laughs> that, that also works, yep. I find the pushing them into it is a little more reliable. Alright. I think to deal with the Gatling Groinks... I'm just gonna bring my purples. Because if you have a bunch of Pikmin for the Gatling Groink, they'll kind of push each other, and it's easier for them to get caught in the explosive blasts. So you generally want to deal with them with a smaller amount of Pikmin. Where, where did our Tillifish go? There was a Gatling Groink right here. Did he did he also run off a cliff? Okay. Well we can deal with this art artillifish. Thank goodness that those last those blasts none of them killed my Pikmin, because any one of those could have. Oh yes, he's stunned! Quick, kill him, kill him, kill him! Yes! Okay, now bring him back. I think the other Gatling Groink ran off a cliff. Because there was a second one. Bring him back quickly. Wow, and the ones that are in the artillery position are also, like, they're the toughest Gatling growing, so I'm very happy that he didn't kill any of my Pikmin. He ran off the cliff because he gave up on life. That's sad. I mean, I'm happy because it means he's not going to tor torture me. Wow, that guy just didn't even have a bomb in his hands. I'm impressed. Alright, that this sub was going along pretty well. I would have thought the Gatling Groinks are going to be a lot more annoying. But one of them just fought out defeated itself. The Indomitable CPU. Proceeding person system. Oh, also, I think... One annoying thing that can happen is if... Say, like, the Gatling Groink ran off a cliff, but if that Gatling Groink had a treasure that would drop if you defeated him, I think the treasure just kind of despawns. Which can be really annoying. Either that, or if the thing runs off a cliff, the treasure might respawn back on the course. I actually don't remember. We left a guy behind, didn't we? Well, there's one Pikmin out there somewhere that we don't have under our control, but, eh. He's not in any danger, because I don't think there are any enemies left. Oh wait, we can just walk over here. He's by the computer. How often do I leave a Pikma? Not... I, I never leave... Well, you can't, like, really leave Pikma behind in caves. Because even if you have zero Pikmin under your control when you say, go into the next cave, they'll all follow you anyways. That's fine. They should deliver that back. It should be the last one, and then all should be right with the world. Okay, I'll be honest... We're not done with the cave yet. This cave has gone by much more easily than I thought it would. 60 Pocos, the Furious Adhesive. Oh, that. I like I like the red tape. Oh, wait, there's still another treasure somewhere. Oh, no. Was the last treasure inside the Gatling Groink that ran off a cliff? 
It better not be. Maybe it's buried somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, no, never mind. Never mind. I got worried for nothing. Nope. There's a lid over here. Okay, so the fact that the other Gatling growing fell off a cliff, that was great. I am a, such a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, if if the Gat if that other Gatling growing had the treasure and he ran off a cliff and made the treasure impossible to get, I would have to reset the sub level. All right, twist open, treetop. Treetop what? The first activator. I mean, it looks like a firmest cap. There you go, Steve. <laughs> Steve drank all the nectar. When I said leave everyone behind, that includes you. Aww. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank goodness that didn't happen. Yeah, this this cave is thus far this cave has been going by much better than I was could have ever expected. I think there are only two sub levels left, and the next and if memory serves, the next one is literally just another rest floor. And then we have the boss floor, and the boss floor will probably be the toughest floor. Probably, not necessarily, but probably. Subterranean complex sub level eight. Maybe, actually, there might... Are there ten sub-levels to this? No, this this looks like another rest floor. Okay, yeah, never mind. This is the room where you get all the purples. So, yeah, there's one sub-level after this. Wee, 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 wee. This is why I brought blue Pikmin. <laughs> Even though there were no water hazards. <gasps> Never bitter spray. Yes. Yes. JW Place 25, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You're in time you're just in time, we're about to face the boss of the subterranean complex in our Pikmin 2 No Deaths run. It's gonna be terrible. But also great, but also terrible. And alright, we got two sprays here. Yes. More sprays, more sprays. I'm so happy. Do 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 come on Drink the V8 Drink the V8 <laughs> Alright this is awesome Alright we got our blue Pikmin Let's make some more purples Because purple Pikmin are by far the best Oh man, these purples drink up all the nectar themselves. Come on, stop getting stuck. Wonderful. <laughs> Once again, they're like, it's still not too late to leave if you want to leave. <laughs> the sprays are strawberry and grape flavored. <laughs> that would be a lot tastier, but be because the red sprays are so ultra spicy and the purple ones are ultra bitter, I think they're probably more like <laughs> habanero and like 
I don't know, what's something purple and super bitter? Like raw onion. Raw red onion. Something like that. Oh my gosh, look at this army of purples. This is amazing. Alright. <laughs> we could leave! We're not gonna leave. There's only one floor left. Let's delve deeper. <laughs> That guy doing the backwards wall and jump. Alright. Oh boy, it's all been leading up to this. Sub-level 9 of the subterranean complex. This? Is... Well, actually, okay. I keep prefacing this. This is going to be tough. This might be super easy. But this is more likely going to be the toughest boss we've faced thus far. Alright. First thing we're going to want to do... Right here. Right here. There is a barricade. There's a reason for this. Okay, grab our purple army. There we go. Omar, you're gonna take the rest of the Pikmin and make sure they keep close to this wall. I'm going to take just our purples. <sighs> if I have a death, yep, I have to reset back to the beginning of the floor. Alright. We might be able to one-round this guy if we Ultra Spray. Ultra Spicy Spray. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Submit. Meet the boss of the... Sub meet the Submit. boss of the subterranean complex. The man at legs. It's a giant spider that has a machine gun that will murder you. Come on, come on. Finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Come on, finish him off. Rats, darn it! You just needed to do go a little bit more! A little bit more! <laughs> That's fine. I fully expected to have to reset against him. Yeah, the man at legs is nasty. He has a lot of HP. His weak point can be tough to hit. He, and um, he will move around and just blast you to bits with his Gatling gun. So, oof. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not resetting from the beginning of the game if I was... No, I would never complete the game, the challenge if I did. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to complete the challenge alone. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Round two, we'll probably try the same thing again, but this time we do it good. Smurf, smurf, smurfs. Sure, Dan. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm condiffent this time. It would be great if we can get the mana legs to just constantly shoot at Olimar and his Pikmin. Alright, we at least got half his HP down. Oh, um, okay, that time he did not go for Olimar and his Pikmin, he went for mine. Alright, sure. <laughs> Tando! This is top three toughest bosses in the game. D for disgusting. <laughs> yeah. This is... There are 13 main bosses in this game. I would say this is the third hardest. This guy is... At least as far as doing it deathless. And probably casually as well. Like, this guy can just murder you. No. Alright, that's fine. We only have 34 purple pigment because one of them wanted to stay behind like a little wuss. Okay, I believe you. Alright, you gotta run. You gotta hide. No shame in hiding. Well, some shame in hiding.
Okay. You see, now he changes his target to Olimar and his Pikmin. Okay, that's great, that's great. We can just keep up this over and over again. Because it looks like for the time being, he's not moving around. Oh, now he's going to start moving around. Unless we can throw Pikmin on him. No, oh, that one stupid leaf Pikmin. Throw that leaf Pikmin away so we can't slow us down. This should finish him. There we go. All right. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would was gonna be. Boom. And here's a bright idea. <laughs> a lot of friends. It's a def. Yeah. <laughs> this <is> big <laughs> that mechanized monstrosity is no longer functional. An insect and a machine forming a symbiotic relationship. Life forms here are beyond odd. Initiating area scan. Glass sphere detected. I can see that. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought the man at legs was going to be a little tougher than that. I'm glad he wasn't, though. <laughs> That's simultaneously one of the toughest bosses, but also probably one of the most fair and, like, awesome bosses in the game. A, a giant mechanical spider with a machine gun. It's terrifying, but it's also awesome. 100 pokos, we get a light bulb. The stellar orb. If I combine this glass sphere with the synthetic sun I have been secretly developing... You've been developing a synthetic sun? What the heck? Processing complete. I have manufactured a solar system. The artificial sunlight it emanates will brighten underground areas. That's a good treasure to have before you go to the uh, submerged castle, because now look at how much brighter the cave is. Oh, this is glorious. Uh, there's a stupid, the one stupid purple Pikmin who's a leaf, but... There we go! Alright, Subterranean Complex went way better than I thought it would. I was expecting to have to reset like 20 plus times in that dungeon. You know what's the most exciting thing about Woo! It's when you win. I love that feeling. <laughs> Indeed, I do. <laughs> oh, man. Look at all those Pokos. Cave complete. The Repair Juggernaut is the best name.